Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating history of television and how it evolved over the years. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's get started. You might be surprised to learn that television wasn't invented by just one person. Instead, it's a combination of multiple inventions from various countries, with contributions from different fields like electricity, mechanical engineering, electromagnetism, sound technology, and electrochemistry. In the early days, discoveries like selenium's electrical conductivity and the cathode ray tube laid the groundwork for the TV. But it took many years for these ideas to merge and give birth to the technology we know today. Let's take a trip back to 1884, when Paul Nipkow from Germany created the first crude television. He used a scanning disc with small holes to pick up image fragments and imprint them on a light, sensitive selenium tube. From there, a receiver would reassemble the picture. As technology advanced, photoelectric cells and cathode rays were introduced to improve the image reassembly process. This led to major corporations like G. Arce, Westinghouse, and 8T investing in TV research in the 1920s. By the 1930s, John Logie Baird from Scotland and Charles F. Jenkins from the U.S. combined Nipkow's mechanical scanning disc with vacuum tube amplifiers and photoelectric cells to create the first true television sets. Electronic methods soon replaced mechanical systems, enabling the transmission of black and white images at 30 frames per second. In the race to perfect color television, CBs and RSA went head to head. After years of rivalry, CBeeze's first color broadcast aired on June 25, 1951, featuring stars like Ed Sullivan. By 1954, commercial color television broadcasts were up and running in the United States. And that's a wrap on our journey through television history. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more interesting content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like us to explore next. Until then, stay curious.